I'm gonna slaughter, I mean, review portfolios of other photographers. What is photographer do you On my Instagram, we did a call for photographers and we got thousands of reactions. No, we got hundreds of reactions. Okay, okay, but still, we got a lot of reactions. So my team randomly chose photographers from beginners to expert photographers for me to slaughter, I mean, review. And I'll be looking for composition, relevancy, technical execution, editing, and emotion. Because emotion is the most important part of a photo, I think, as a wedding photographer. So the first photographer my team chose is Kenneth Oni Ukebach. Sorry if I pronounced it wrong, but his right name will be in the description below. Go give him a follow because he sent his photos to us and we're very, I'm very curious what my team chose. So the first photo of Kenneth, Right away, this man knows how to control his light because shooting uh, people with different skin colors, especially when someone's white and someone has a beautiful dark skin color, it's very difficult. If you never shot uh, uh, people who have so such different colors of skin, it's, it's challenging because you want to have the, the dark skin to have a nice glow and you want the light skin not to have too much light. So you have to find a balance and the balance is very, very difficult. So, Great job, Kenneth, for balancing the light correct. If I would change one thing on the photo, maybe is the crop of the photo, because I think there's too much um, space on the right side of the photo, and if you pull back a little bit, they get more centered in the photo. But very good job. So the second photo of Kenneth, beautiful light control. Uh, he knows how to photograph people with dark skin. If you never shot people with different skin colors, I would definitely do that. Try it out, because it's even, if you're white or black, everybody has a different skin color. So the, the, the variety of red to white to more yellowy, uh, orange, like Trump is an orange man. <laughs> but everybody has a different skin color and you want to get the skin col colors correct, which is very important. And this photo, he has a perfect control of the skin color, is a very posed photo. I'm not a photographer that likes posed photos for myself, but I think uh, he did a great job on the posing part. The Photoshop on the hands could be better because I see he um, worked on the skin uh, a lot to make it softer, which is fine because some people want that as a thing for some people. But I would put a little bit more detail in the, the, like the lines from the hands and stuff and the neck so it looks a little bit better. It would make the photo even better. And in the right corner I see a little bit a part of a, a light. I would edit that out to make the photo more symmetrical. But I like the photo. The third photo of Kenneth is something different. He framed the photo in between some flowers. And I like when people frame photos because frame makes the photo a little bit warm. It makes it more interesting uh, because it's a little less boring. So frame people in a way you like, like, like this is framing. He framed her between the flowers. Again, uh, a beautiful woman with a beautiful dark caramel color skin. Um, what I like about dark skin people they have a, like a golden glow when you do it right with the light it's, it's beautiful i'm jealous because i'm a white boy a very white boy um, again her eyes are the center focus of the photo i like this photo is the, the best still i see the photoshop on the skin uh, i think kenneth has to work on it to make it even better uh, but that's just doing a lot uh, but generally i like the photo a lot i like her eyes popping out the fourth photo of kenneth a beautiful woman in a beautiful uh, traditional clothing I guess. Uh, I like the fact that she closed her eyes because I'm a big fan of closing your eyes on the photos. Not everybody has to open their eyes. Why should you open your eyes? It's more like when you close your eyes you're more in the in the zen space. Because when you look into the camera it means you're communicating with a photographer like I'm doing with you guys. But if I do like this I'm here. When I look at you I'm there. So there's a big difference. Think about that. Great photo, uh, again, uh, the, the Photoshop is better in this photo, but still tweak it a little bit to make it even better, can it? Oh, this is a completely different photo, the fifth photo and the last photo. All right, so there's a lot of, lot of stuff going on. They're posing uh, with a car. The car is probably important, that's why they're standing with a car. I'm not a big fan of uh, Photoshopping headlights in a car, because if you do it, you have to do it really, really well, or else you see it. In this case, I can see there's light been edited in the photo. It doesn't feel natural. 
it distracts me from the people standing uh, with the car. And I think they are leading in the subjects, they are leading subject in the photo. So I would definitely lose the lights and it would make the photo so much better. And also a little, because I like the fact that you do, did something different uh, and they're not, uh, she closed her eyes and maybe he should close his eyes too, but it's different. But watch when you use uh, gradient uh, filters, like a, a round gradient filter, his hair is lost in the, in, in the background. So you have to pop it out so that he gets, he's stuck in the background right now with his hair and you want to pop him out like she, she's popping out of the background and he's fading into the background right here. If you can pull him a little bit more out, so make the, the, the background a little bit more light around him, it will look way, way better. But I gotta say, Kenneth, I love the fact that you can really um, um, control those skin tones because it's a very difficult thing. And with uh, people with dark skin, it's even more difficult because, um, because it's, it's a darker skin, so they absorb more light. It's diff more difficult to do it the right way and you're a master in your light. The second star for Angela van Geffen. Um, I know Angela is Polish and she's married to a Dutch guy. So she's like Polish Dutch, Dutch Polish. Tell me, Angela, do you feel more Polish or do you feel more Dutch? <laughs> First photo of Angela. Boom. Right away. Beautiful woman. It's popping out of my screen. I f I'm, just, I'm just falling in love here, man. How beautiful is she? I'm looking at my camera, man. He doesn't react. Too bad he's already married. Oh, no, he didn't. <laughs> oh, my wife doesn't see this. <laughs> but uh, this, uh, I, 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 you know. I have the feeling it's like a styled shoot. I don't know if it's a real wedding photo because as a wedding photographer, I have a nose for styled shoots, but all things aside, it's a stunning woman. The only thing I want to see is her left, where is her left hand going? Um, I see her right hand. I don't mind the, the elbow being cut off. But I want to see her left hand because where is it? Is she holding a partner? Is it photo cropped? It looks cropped. I don't know, but who cares? She's beautiful. Yeah, make a photo. photo number two. Whoa, light going on here. I like it. Angela, what, what are you doing to me? I like the light. I like the fact that you use a cold tint because so much star for you is like the warm tints. They're, we're, we're past the warm tint photos. Use cold colors, use more contrast. And you did it. She looks like the, the green, um, there's an animal attacking me. Uh, I like the fact they use like the colors and uh, the skin tone is a little bit warmer. It creates so much more contrast. I, I keep telling that create more contrast. Don't stay too much in the same color range. Sometimes you can do it, but in this case, I love it. I have to say something negative about the photos because they told me you have to slaughter people a little bit. So I can't really say a lot of negatives. The only thing I'm wondering, it's not per se something negative. The sun is coming in from here. So it creates the lights, that's obvious. What is this thing? Here, this was the light from the left side coming from. Is there a mirror? How does that work? Maybe there's a mirror a bouncing light back. Angela, tell me what's going on there. Is it photoshopped or is it a reflection? Third photo of Angela. Oui, oui, Paris. Yeah, how can you go wrong shooting on a rooftop in Paris? It just shouts cool stuff. I'm gonna look this, uh, uh, this as, a, as a wedding photographer and uh, Angela is a good photographer. I can see that by the way she controls light. Is it starting raining? That's what you get when you're filming outside. We keep on filming. It's raining and we keep on filming. That's... Nobody does that. With a MacBook and a red camera in the rain. <coughs> it, we do it. Oh, you <coughs> have to bleep it out. Angela is a good photographer and she is shooting in Paris. So I'm gonna look at it a little bit more professionally. And um, I like the backdrop. I mean, just stunning. I like her dress, I like his suit. Uh, things I'm wondering is his, so uh, uh, first of all, when a man puts his hand in the pocket, you always put every finger in the pocket. You don't leave one finger behind. I would Photoshop the finger out so it looks like it's in the pocket. I've been a fashion photographer for a long time. I did folk and kind of stuff. Fingers are very important. You always make the fingers long. So she has like long fingers. You don't do like this and you make sure all the fingers are visible or none of them are visible. Uh, but you like to, in the best scenario, you want to see all the fingers. So I would Photoshop this out. So it looks a little bit, because it looks like something else, if you know what I mean. <laughs> For the rest, I love this photo. I love the sun coming from the right side. Looks like an evening shot uh, seen by the light. Great photo. Fourth photo. 
Uh, also my territory, veil photos. And I like veil photos because it's like a little bubble to create. So I started shooting veil photos a really long time ago. And nowadays, brides buy a veil, especially so we can do veil photos. And Rens will probably edit some photos for me shooting veil photos or veil photos I shot in, the, in this video as a hint to my cameraman. I like the fact that it's a beautiful frame, so they're completely gone in the frame. I don't mind him being almost gone. Because I do it a lot, like somebody is gone in the photo, like it, really nice shot, I like that she's laughing, it feels authentic, I like the editing, uh, great job Angela. Fifth photo, uh, that does rem reminds me of the Paris photo, but a little bit different setting, uh, beautiful couple again, jeez, she only has beautiful people in the photos. I also got beautiful couples, again, if you should look at my Instagram, everybody's so beautiful. I like this photo, um, I like it, because his hands are in the pocket in the right way. I see four hands, I like the light control, um, the fact that it's in front of the rocks, not for, uh, in front of the ocean view, it still looks awesome. Um, she's communicating with the camera, he is looking away because he had to look away like that to be cool. It's a little bit of a jaw. I like this photo, I can't really say something negative about this photo. Angela, you're doing a freaking great job. I can't swear on my videos, if I swear I get, I get beat up by my cameraman, so you did a fluffing good job. Next photographer, and the last one, is Nushka Photography. So the first photo of Nushka, black and white, finally someone shooting black and white. A black and white flash photo, because I can see it's a flash photo. And, oh man, emotion. I told you in the beginning, I love emotion, this emotion. Her tears from her eye, this is a very valuable photo. If, I, I know for sure the bride loves this photo. So when there's emotion like this captured in the photo, the whole composition doesn't really matter that much anymore because it's beautiful. You get drawn straight to her tears and maybe the, the composition is a little bit off. Who cares? I'm a big fan of shooting emotion and if the uh, composition is also right, you have a, like a banger of a photo. Second photo of Nushka. Oh, she's going that route. I like it. I like the fact that she's going the funny route. So they are hugging and this man is getting some wind from the... How do you call the thing in, in English? Blower, like a manual blower. <laughs> a little kid is blowing uh, wind in his, in his face. Um, I like the fact there's a lot of stuff going on in this photo. It's a very dynamic photo. Then the composition is less important. Well, actually it's a great composition because there's a lot of dynamics. I love the fact that I keep on looking for things going on in this photo. The third photo of Nushka. Whoa, oh, whoa, what's happening? Okay, so obviously this is a group photo and they wanted to do something different. And I can, the photographer, I know how that feels because you do group photos and they say, can we do something different? And I'm like, okay, what do you want to do? Because <laughs> I, I, it has to, it depends on the group. Some groups are really fun. You can do all kinds of stuff, stuff and some groups are like a little bit lame and they want to do cool stuff. In this case, they chose to throw shoes at the photographer with a very expensive lens and camera. Well, Nuska. I applaud you for standing there with your camera. I wouldn't stand there. I'm like, I'm not gonna, you can't throw shoes at my camera. But the fact that the shoes fly to the, um, to the photo makes the photo very dynamic. Uh, it's not a, a flattering photo, but I don't think it's important. I like the fact there's a lot of stuff going on, it's different. I like the fact that you go, went, went low with the photo, so they are, um, they, their heads are above the tree line, so they pop out a little bit more the photo. Great job, and lo love the fact that you use black and white photos. Then we go to the fourth photo. Again, a group photo, and what she did, and that's what I like, you, and that's what Nushka does a lot, is capturing the off moments. We call them candid photos. It's very difficult to do, candid photos, because, not candid, but candid photos, because you have to shoot the photos when you should not shoot photos. And then it creates some hilarious stuff, and right away you can see there, Speaking about stuff, and I'm just wondering what would it say? The Scottish man is probably saying, I got nothing under my uh, kilt. And they were like, oh no, he, he's, nothing, he's wearing nothing under his kilt. And the guy go, goes like this. So there's a lot of stuff going on. I like the fact that I'm looking for what's going on in the photo. It makes me want to look at the photo. Good job. Also the light control, great. No ordinary thing with light. Whoa, the, the fifth and the last photo of the video. Something completely different. So with light and, and just the contour of the wedding couple, um, great idea. Um, it's something, if you do it very technical, it, it, it could be done. 
little bit better because I'm just a lot of black in the photo and I'm missing some more of, uh, or I would made the photo completely black so the right the candles just gone uh, or made it even like a, uh, a, a vertical photo um, I like the ID but I think it should be a little bit more work on it because these photos they need Photoshop or Lightroom they need but I like the fact that that's something different than what you normally do you're very diverse and you're not afraid to try new stuff so keep on trying new stuff but if you fail a lot you get better and that my friends ends the video we checked out three fantastic photographers and you saw the names in the in the, in the video you can go to the description below there's a link to their instagrams be sure to check them out because they did a great job and it's very scary to give your photos to me because i'm gonna slaughter your photos well I didn't really slaughter them because I applaud them for sending the photos. It inspired me as a photographer to do something different because maybe I'm doing too much the same stuff. And I'm very curious, which, which photo did you like the best? So let me know in the comments, which photo do you like the best? And if you want to be featured on my channel, want to be featured in my portfolio review, leave a comment in, this, in, this, in the comment section. And for now, I'm going to drink beer because I, I need a beer, man. Because we set up this whole setting and we've got beer. How stupid is that? Cut! I'm gone. Bye bye. Oh, woo! <laughs>